Hello. We're here. Yes, we are here. Are know, we starting now? I don't know if that'll be the real beginning. Yeah. Is it? Are you saying it is? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Welcome back to another soul stirring rendition. Yeah. Of Monday to your bed. And our last video was last Monday, and we didn't put up a video in between. Yeah, we did. Yes, oh, we did. yeah, we did. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I forgot about that video. We're not Make sure you don't leave that in. We're leaving that in 100%. <laughs> well, because yes, last night we put up a video at like 6 p.m., but the whole week I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're not going to get a video up. And then our two videos back to back will be our Monday videos. We promise when our book is done, we're going to get back to more consistent. Yeah videos. We're, we're, we're hanging in but there. But we have videos that are like almost ready. It's just been... I think this week will have a lot. Anyway, yeah. none of you care about this. This week will be good to go. Monday drug bad, Monday drug bad, Monday drug bad. Are you the, excited? The new weekly Monday series where we answer your most brilliant questions. If you have questions for us, put them in the comments below. That's where we get the ideas for these questions. I yeah. think that we can give ourselves a pat on the back for the fact that we are doing this see, again, see, our we, second Monday in a row. Look at that. that Let's is not overlook that accomplishment. Consistency. Yep. All right, I texted you the okay. questions. These were all grabbed for. Oh my god, I almost threw up. These <laughs> Wait, are. What? <laughs> no, no. No, no, don't move on. What happened? It was one of those burps where oh. it becomes much more than a burp. And I was caught off guard. Ew. Does that happen to anyone else? I really wish I had an ass. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. These were all taken from the comment section last week. of last week, right. is what Shane was trying to say before he threw up. Here we go. Number oh, one. Right, starting with number one. Actually, you know what? Right above this is my picture of the moon. Can I just show this real oh quickly? Oh my god, no. I took this. Oh, you know what? It's not focusing. Oh, Come oh on. Well, that's too bad. Come on. No, no. Why don't you just put it in, in the edit? Oh, you're right. It's not working. So, you know what? I'll just I'll just put the picture in. I'm very proud of it. Anyway. You just wasted one minute of their day. That was like five seconds. Question number one. And everybody cares. I bet there'll be comments that are like, I care about Hannah's picture of the moon. <laughs> Shane, you're rude. That's what they'll say. Okay. Fair, fair enough. All right. Question number one. This is like a question that we get all the time. Are we starting an OnlyFans? It's usually phrased as like, would you ever? Do you have one? I think I get a message about this every single day. I get messages about it being like, hey, would you please yeah. ask your wife to start an OnlyFans? They don't want one for me. Uh, in case you don't know what OnlyFans is, I assume mostly everyone does. Yeah. But it's a site where we would upload content, photos, videos, and you would have to pay to access it. The big reason that people use OnlyFans, or one of the big reasons, is you're allowed to upload nudity and porn. <laughs> um, so yeah. that is why people use OnlyFans, and that's what they want from us. Yep. The answer is no. We're yeah. not making an OnlyFans. No. Uh, but, <laughs> this is going to sound weird, we've talked about it. Yeah, and, we talk about, well, uh, obviously, because we get these questions and we're like, ha, ha, ha. But then we're like, can you imagine? And then we're like, we would probably make a lot of money. Like, should we just do it and then disappear from the yeah. face of the earth? That's the thing. I, I'm being serious <laughs> here. I, I, I know it's a weird subject, but like, really imagine for yourself if you could upload some photos and videos of yourself naked mm -hmm. and know <laughs> with, naked. A, with a pretty high level of certainty that you're going to make a substantial amount of money, which I believe we probably would, mm -hmm. would you be tempted? Yeah. Uh, probably. Tempted, You'd be but tempted. But then you remember that you have family members and like a life and then, you know, obviously people do it and it's totally fine, but it's not something that we would ever be comfortable with. It's not in our real house and I feel like no, it right isn't. now we're prioritizing like being able to do speaking engagements yeah. for and uh, oh my god don't call out specific brands <laughs> i'm gonna bleep that out well, that was no we, one wants to be in this video and some of every spoken but yeah. i'm just saying uh you know we probably won't be able to do the like corporate advocacy for disability that we do yeah if we go that route of like selling naked photos of ourselves exactly it, i mean 
the money is there's just two different yeah. paths and we're just you know sticking on our path but it is a question that we get all the time so no hannah has a website out there that's photos of her feet that's Shame. a little bit different don't listen for it it is out there it is not, it is not funny that is you know someone's gonna make a fake version of that website now no it's gonna be all the weird troll people that are gonna just spend an hour Start looking, looking for, for it <laughs> It's not there. Spoiler, it doesn't exist. Huh? Okay. Question number two. Does Shane get sore from sitting in the same position all day? Yes. It's like a, a problem. Mm. <laughs> like, I I don't love getting out of my chair because I can't, I'm not very productive out of my chair. Um, so I sit in it all day. And behind my knees, I get pretty sore, like my skin from like not moving all day. My tailbone, as you know, has <laughs> had a pressure sore on and off yeah. for a while now. That hurts. But then generally, like, my muscles, they do ache at the end of the day. And mm -hmm. Hannah will help me when we get in bed. She'll, like, move my legs around, move my arms around. Yeah. So that helps. But, yeah, I do get sore. Yep. But I think you don't get as sore as, like, I would if I sat in the same position. Oh, like, yeah. I think you're, you're relatively used to it. My body is pretty much in this position yeah. for good now <laughs> yeah so it's not like if all of a sudden someone who doesn't use a wheelchair sat you know all day in the exact same position it's different than that but definitely still sore this brings in mind something that's related but not, uh, not really related it's that because throughout my whole life my primary position has been in my chair i am like giddy about new positions it, I, <laughs> So uh huh. Something like we might say only things. I know. I'm like, where are you uh, going with this? For instance, like three years ago, we were laying in bed, and I was like, Hannah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> pick me up and lay me on top yeah, of you. Yeah, pull me over on top of you. And she did, and it was, you know, what you imagine. <laughs> I was flailing all over, but I was having so much fun. <laughs> it was like a brand new position that my body had never yeah. felt before. Uh -huh. I think that's why I like swimming. Yeah. Because true. I can be in all new positions, positions and move around. And, yeah. True. And you also do like sitting in things other than your wheelchair. Like you'll see, we were at Home Goods once and they had these little miniature recliners for kids. <laughs> and Shane was like, I need that. And we didn't end up buying it because I was like, that looks ridiculous. Where are we going to put it? <laughs> maybe we'll still, maybe for your birthday, I'll get you a little mini recliner. I love it. A little recliner next to the fireplace <laughs> where I can smoke my pipe <laughs> and think about the universe as I listen to the fire crackle. Yeah. So Shane seeing new things that he could sit in also is very exciting for him. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be wearing a velvet robe. Oh. It's a little bit open in the front. <laughs> this is also for your only fans. <laughs> okay. What's the most messed up question people ask? That's a good one. Um, I have one. Do you want to do one or should, um, should I just do mine? Well, obviously, like the first one that comes to mind is like, how do you, you know, have sex? Like yeah. very specific questions. Yeah. That's a cliche. I'm sick of talking about it. I'm trying to think of something else. The most messed up question people ask. I can do mine if you Go like part of yours. Uh, so the hardest one for me is when people bring up all of the, their perceived ways that I am a burden to Hannah. And like when someone just says, you're a burden to Hannah, like I, that one I can just ignore pretty easily. But there are people who write paragraphs mm -hmm. detailing the various ways that I probably, in their mind, burden Hannah and ruin her life and sometimes they are real actual things that I occasionally feel bad about in our relationship like not being able to cook her a meal when she's not feeling well you know I know logically I can help her in a variety of ways and mm -hmm. we've talked about me being a burden and how I'm not in, yeah. in Hannah's opinion um but when people go out of their way to tell me that I am a burden and I'm already having problems like overcoming that feeling, mm -hmm. that one is messed up. Yep. Yeah. And it usually ends with the question of like, Hannah, why are you doing this? Yeah. There's the question part, you know? Yeah, yeah I think that's a good answer. Yeah, that's pretty messed up. Yep. 
what do you both see as your biggest area of weakness? Oh, good one. I feel like Shane's going to make some sort of joke about, like, his lower legs or something, some area of his body. Well, now I'm not because he's still my punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I have one kind of. I mean, I don't know exactly how I'll phrase it, but yeah. essentially I think something to do with, like, socializing, <laughs> you know, like, uh, you know, anxiety around socializing, like being uncomfortable and new situations and stuff. I think that's my biggest weakness. Yeah. Cause it be like, I sometimes like just don't go to things because I'm like, eh, I don't, yeah, and you're like, I'll have to talk to people there. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. And I've never been there. Like, where's the door? Is there a park? It? Like, I just won't go places. So I think that's probably like my biggest weakness. Yeah. I think mine might be, I have a very hard time deviating from the plan. Hmm. When we decide on a plan, for instance, I'll give you an example from yesterday. Oh. Yesterday morning, Hannah and I had agreed the night before to wake up at 9 a.m. It was a Sunday. And for, for context. So that was, uh, this isn't really about our sleeping like preferences, yeah. but. I, in my mind, went to bed that night with the plan that I would wake up at 9, and so I kind of laid there falling asleep. Can I just say something? Yeah. About how different we are? Yeah. This, like Shane going to bed thinking we're getting up at 9, it wasn't like a conversation. We didn't set an alarm. No. It was Shane said, should we maybe get up at 8.30 tomorrow? And I was like, oh, maybe 9. Like, I'd rather just, like, I don't, it's Sunday. Why are we yeah, getting up at 8.30? That's, that's a good point. And in Shane's mind, he was like... 9 a.m. And I was, I was like, oh, I don't remember exactly what time I said. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, you know? my, that's my weakness. Is like, <laughs> I cement plans yeah. in my mind and then I build my day around them. Yeah. Um, and then at 9.30. So at 9.30, <laughs> when we were not awake yet, and Hannah, well, I was awake. Hannah was yeah. still sleeping. You woke up and you were like, it's 9.30. And I was like, hey, you said 9. And Hannah was like, yeah, I'm, I'm really tired, like, whatever. Uh, but I was like, but that was the plan. The plan, you know, I, I can't deviate yeah. from the plan once I have it cemented in my brain. Yep. And I wish I could be more flexible. Deal with the flow, everything's gonna be fine. Yeah. I am in that way in other ways, you know, like when we're traveling yeah. and we hit an obstacle, I can deal with it. Yeah. But once I have a plan, I have to follow the plan. All right, next question. Oh, it's the last question. Is Shane in a wheelchair in his dreams? I feel like we've gotten this one a lot. We have. Over the years. The answer is yes. It hasn't always been yes. Mm -hmm. When I was younger, I often dreamed that I was running or like skateboarding or surfing because those were the things that were a big part of my you know, world at that time. Like I was really into skateboarding when I was 11. <laughs> uh, and I think my... Thinking about disability back then was a lot more like, oh, I, I don't want to be disabled. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was how I dreamed. Now, as I've grown and matured, sort of, uh, and become a lot more comfortable and like proud of being disabled and who I am, I dream in my wheelchair. Yep. Uh, when I dream, I'm in my wheelchair. Yeah. I think that's kind of neat, obviously. I don't think it means anything. Really, but uh, I think it's kind of cool that like now my subconscious is the default is I'm in my wheelchair. Yeah, I think that yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Hmm. Are you in the wheelchair in your dreams? No, I'm not. Hmm. We'll get there. <laughs> That'll be my my like you know growth. You are. <laughs> I'll finish in a wheelchair. <laughs> From spending so much time with me. Uh huh. But just... when I dream about you, you're in a wheelchair. Do you? Yeah. No one asks me that. It's offensive. <laughs> All right, everyone, that is Monday Your Bag, yep. episode two. We'll be back next Monday. Hope, well, no, we'll, we'll be, be back before we'll next Monday. We'll be back Monday. before next Monday. I know we have a few videos this week. Yeah, so. so get ready. Thank you for your questions. Put your other questions below. Try to make them fun, you know? That sounds no. like these weren't. Oh, my God, that was so fun. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I meant, like, yeah. you know, really. Dig deep. Dig deep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. See, you have to be recording. You don't even know anything about this. Okay. This is the setup that we'll play at the end. Oh, oh shoot, there's a plant on my chair. Ha! Ah. This is the difficulties we deal with. Does the camera look like it's tipped to the left a little bit?
Probably, but it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter if we're just hurting. We'll just be like this. <laughs> we'll lean our heads to the other right at Hompton and say. It looks almost perfect. Well, yeah, it is a little bit. It's a little sideways. Oh my god. Sorry, everyone. Just doing it for perfection here. Yeah. Now it's green. The little level on the camera is green. Ah, so before you just ignore the level. Yeah. It looked pretty good to me. Hello.